こんにちは。BR 日本語の萌えです。今日はね、Today we're going to learn how to say fox, キツネ。Fox is cute in Japanese. And while we're learning that sentence, we're also going to cover a very first grammar point. X は Y です。So this one, this person, キツネ。キツネ is fox in Japanese. キツネ。キツネはかわいいです。キツネはかわいいです。The fox is cute. おう、おう、おう、おう、キツネはかわいいです。So, something は something です。This mysterious thing called は Is called particle in Japanese. And this is the very first grammar point that you're going to learn in Japanese. In Japanese, there is this mysterious thing called particle. There's wa and no and ka, and it's usually one or few、um, hiragana characters. And it's placed in between words, nouns, verbs.、Uh, Adjectives, adverbs, etc. This particle will help you understand how is the sentence is structured in Japanese. For example, this is the first particle, wa particle. If you have learned hiragana already, wa particle is written as ha. If you are in normal situation, you will read this one as ha. In hiragana, but when it's used as particle, it's pronounced wa. wa. And this kitsune wa kawaii desu. This wa indicates in front of the wa is the topic of the sentence. Right now, we are talking about kitsune. Kitsune is the topic. So, kitsune, talking of kitsune, speaking of kitsune, はかわいい。かわいい。is cute. かわいいです。Speaking of きつね。it's cute. So this is like it is or be or am in English. So the first particle は indicates what we're talking about. In this case, it's きつね。きつねはかわいいです。Also, if you are to introduce yourself, Watashi wa. Watashi is I in Japanese. Watashi wa moe desu. Now, this translates as speaking of me, I am moe. But often we omit this Watashi wa because it sounds a little bit odd, like speaking of me. It's moe.、Um, so it's more natural to say moe desu. Moe desu. Rather than watashi wa moe desu. This sounds a little bit like a direct translation of English to Japanese. Another thing that we don't often use is you, anata. Anata wa kawaii desu. Anata wa kawaii desu. You're cute. But when it, but in Japanese, we don't really use anata. Anata is quite formal, so we often omit again, omit anata and say, kawaii desu. You're cute. If you're looking at the person and say, kawaii desu. You know, they know that you're, talking, that you're talking about them. So you don't need to say you are, which is a little bit dramatic. You are cute. Kawaii desu is more natural way to say you're cute. Kawaii desu. <laughs> okay, so X wa Y desu. There's other way you can use like nationality. I'm Japanese. Watashi wa. 日本人です。私は日本人です。日本 is Japan. When you put 人 
the person or people, it becomes a nationality. So if you had to say, I am American, America Jin. America Jin. I am a Canadian, Canada Jin. Canada Jin. Australian, Australia Jin. Australia Jin. British, this is a hard one, Igiris Jin. Igiris Jin. Igiris, I think it, can, it come from Latin, English, uh, rather than British. Igiris Jin. Igiris Jin. So we got to say nationality, you put Jin after the, no, after the name of the country. Except we have certain country which is often our neighbors. We have our own words for this. For example, Chinese, Chugokujin. Chugokujin. Chugoku is China in Japanese. Another neighbor, Kankokujin. Kankokujin. Kankoku is Korea in Japanese. So these two are particular, particularly different from the other uh, countries and nationality. So you can introduce yourself. Watashi wa moe desu. Or more natural, moe desu. Your name plus this and you can also let the other person know about your nationality watashi wa that's bracket <laughs> or nihonjin desu nihonjin desu or if you're american america jin desu australia jin desu igiris jin desu canada jin desu etc. I'm sorry if I didn't cover all the countries, but something jin des is your nationality. So, in this lesson, we learn something wa something des. And the wa particle indicating in front of the wa is the topic of the sentence. For example, kitsune wa. Kawaii desu. Kitsune is the topic of the sentence. Kawaii is cute. At, speaking of the, as for, as for, or speaking of a fox, it's cute. Kitsune wa kawaii desu. Today we learned something, what something desu. X wa y desu. Your very first grammar point of Japanese. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Matane. Kawaii. <laughs>